Hello, I am Eric Merritt from Homesport, Northeast Mesa, and also a resident of Mountain Bridge in Northeast Mesa. I wanted to do this video because I'm in the re middle of remodeling my own home, and I thought this would be a very good, valuable information to a lot of people because me, myself, and probably speaking for many others, I didn't know what stuff costs. I had no idea what labor was, what to expect. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, you can go to foreign decor and see what the price of tile is per square foot or travertine or marble, backsplash, all that stuff, but what about the laterer? What about the demo? What about the electrical, the electrical work if you want to improve your lighting and make it more aesthetically beautiful? So I'm just going to touch on uh, some thought processes that we all have that I know I had. Um, most of us have had a desire to change features in our home for aesthetics and for to add more future resale value and we've seen enough model homes or even stayed in some fancy nice hotel rooms and said, I would like to have that someday. We've watched enough fits and flip shows for the last 10-15 years and depending on who you've watched, like Flipping Vegas, Flipper Flop or many others, we like them because of the before and after pictures and the potential profit that they could give us or bring to us. Uh, this is a picture of my house when the cabinets arrived uh, late in April at, on a Wednesday morning at 8.30 in the morning. This is the cabinets that we're going in to replace the ones from the building. And this is what the kitchen looked like beforehand from Blanford. Uh, the, the dark cherry wood cabinets and then the two centimeter granite countertop, the thinner granite countertop, and we didn't have new cabinets down here, so we made the island wider and a little bit longer, and chopped off about eight inches off this way to give more ingress and egress into the kitchen, because before it was too tight in between the refrigerator and the island. So after we see the majority of those shows that use us to capture your confidence and trust in them, on the back end, after few years. On the back end, usually from another company, they try and get you to attend a free one-hour seminar to learn more, right? Well, most of us have been invited to these one-hour seminars just to find out that if you want to learn more, you have to attend another weekend Saturday, sem Saturday seminar for around $500. I did this myself in 2010, and this is why I know it. When you're at one of these workshops later in the Later in the workshop, they try and use intimidation tactics on you to try and make you spend twenty to sixty thousand dollars on your credit card. I mean, lo and behold, you can go to college and get a bachelor's degree or even higher degree for that. So why do you have to give away money for something that you can learn yourself and you can learn from a lot of other people, uh, other contractors, licensed or not licensed, and learn all this stuff on your own like I have? And I'm not saying I know everything because I don't. I mean, this is my first house that I've done any kind of work to in my life. And it's pretty fun. I really enjoy it. And I believe that we all can do it too. So after we go to these seminars, we now believe that these are a borderline scam, if not a scam. After those unpleasant experiences, we just quite give up because we are afraid of getting taken advantage of. For our personal residents, we have ideas to redesign our kitchen our bathroom, specifically the master bathroom, to make it look more enticing than from the builder or to do a total remodel. We invite general contractors to our home to get high bids that sounds very high to do our desired work and may not get any bids at all. And that did happen to me. I had a contractor that quoted me a hundred grand and my number was 60,000. Of course, I was uneducated because I didn't know. My number was a little bit low, but his number was too high. And so once again, our fear comes back in. It is fairly easy to self-educate ourselves on the price of tile per square foot, backsplash carpet, pattern carpet, or regular thicker carpet, frame mirrors, light fixtures, shower fixtures, etc. Other materials like granite countertops or granite countertop fabricators, baseboards, shower systems, electrical lights, and others can be more complicated. Then there is the labor and demo to install everything that most of us don't know, which is where general contractors make most of their money. 
So in our next video, we'll discuss now you've had the, made the decision to get things done. If you have some remodeling ideas of your own, I would like to hear them and guide you along the way if needed. So the thing that conquers fear is taking action and getting education. Get some education first. Talk to as many people as you can about what things cost per square foot to demo, to install. Um, talk to, you know, for like carpet places, talk to uh, tile people that can do tile. Talk to some specific people. The more specific people that you talk to, the better off you are. And you can be your own contractor and be in charge of your own project. But there are things that you have to know first. So the things that we're going to talk about in the next videos are going to be, I'm just going to touch on the brief points of them. We're going to touch on flooring, porcelain tile, polished tile, uh, the size of the tile slabs are 24 by 48, or you can get different size slabs, travertine, marble, etc. Carpet, there's pattern carpet, usually pattern goes to 40 ounces, but not more than that if you want. If you have a two-story home like me, I we're putting in a 60 ounce carpet because when you have kids that run around you won't have the noise will be muffled from downstairs to upstairs carpet pad and demolition of carpet uh, kitchen cabinets in the kitchen we're going to talk about the cabinets if you want just solid wood or if you want a wood with glass doors in it if you want what kind of glass clear glass frosted glass if you want the kitchen island bigger uh, backs the different kinds of backsplashes behind the at the wall or below the cabinets appliances glass door or on cabinet door to talk about that um, if you have if you have any thoughts on that anything that you want to add like LED lights uh, put inside the cabinet doors so it's really cool when you see at night your cabinets lit up with different colors blue red green yellow it's very cool we're going to touch on baseboards most common baseboards are four and a half to seven inches in height, but there are many different designs of baseboards and I do have a store to get that stuff from, including the plastic baseboards. Uh, showers and bathtub combos. So, and a, just a walk-in shower, the four by 16 blocks are what builders use. We discovered that here. Uh, Blanford does use four by 16 blocks and so do many general contractors to start the order between the bathroom floor and the shower. Green board, we'll talk about that. Tile versus acrylic panels from the builder. Black splash on the shower walls. Soap niches, cement board, benches to sit on, how to make a bench. Shower systems, straight pipe with 90 degree turn into a straight head. Rain head above or the handheld unit next to a bench, which is what we're doing. Shower floor lining before the mortar mitts. Uh, shower drains, there's many different types of shower drains, European type drains are really cool. Uh, frameless glass panels and doors, shop for those because we, our first bid on the one for the master shower was $2,500, our second bid was $1,600. So if you shop for a lot of this stuff, that's how you can learn on your own what stuff costs. Different tile designs in the shower, 25 by 75. 50 by 50 staggered design uh, plumbing you have to have a very good plumber for your shower especially when you're doing a complete new shower system and electrical uh, if you're changing the electrical go to the LED can lights they're much more modern they put out a lot more light and they're cheaper in electrical usage uh, drum lights are really cool LED frameless mirrors which we have in the master bedroom and the powder down powder room downstairs and then we're going to talk about granite countertops in great detail and baseboards and then we're also going to talk about contracts how to make a contract once you know what everything is itemized and you know exactly you've measured everything that you need to measure all the tile for each bathroom the backsplash for each bathroom uh, the, the size of the mirrors you're going to have the backsplash around that so you can get ideas of exactly how much you need for each material. Once you have that, then you will write a contract. And you'll write it and have a copy for your contractor and we're going to go into greater detail about that. So that's going to be in a separate video all by itself. Anyway, 
I hope this gives you some good pointer ideas and if you have some remodels, remodeling ideas of your own, I would love to hear from them and I can help guide you along if needed. Please give me a call at 480-999-6061. Talk to you soon and have a wonderful day.